In the Gospel, Jesus says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And that sounds wonderful. But do we actually want to be made free in that sense? Do we really want to know the truth as God sees it? Do we really want to know who we are, what we look like to God? On several occasions in Lewis's Narnia books, people are faced with the truth, the truth they don't really want to see. They have to admit that the disasters or catastrophes that have come upon them are in large part the result of their own carelessness or selfishness or forgetfulness. And they see this when they're in the presence of Aslan. They look into his face, they look into his eyes, and they have no option but to accept the truth of who they are, a truth they'd rather not know. It's drawn out of them painfully and slowly Aslan simply looks, questions, stays there looking, until at last somebody blurts out, yes, of course, it was because I did this. It was because I didn't see that. It was because I let myself forget the other. And that means that, to use one of the great images that Lewis uses in the Narnia books, we have to get used to God stripping away our skins, stripping away our defences, all the stories we tell ourselves about ourselves, so that we feel comfortable about ourselves. Because God, it seems, isn't interested in making us just feel comfortable about ourselves. God is interested in our coming to terms with reality. God has made us to be real. He hasn't made us to hide behind fictions, to hide behind pictures we put up around ourselves to tell ourselves about ourselves. God wants us to have that salty taste, that fresh air of reality that only he can give. And that, of course, can be deeply painful. Right through the history of the Christian Church, people have written about how, in deep, silent prayer, they have that sense of being stripped, things being taken away, the pictures of God that they thought they could rely on being taken away, and even more painfully, the pictures of themselves they thought they could rely on being taken away. Again and again, you have to turn to yourself and look, or try to look, with the eyes of God. That's to say, to be defenseless, to take away what makes you comfortable, what makes you easy with yourself, and to ask, am I being real in the way that God wants me to be real? You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Free from fantasies and fictions, free from the need to defend yourself and protect yourself all the time against yourself and other people, free from the need to hide Remember that one of the first stories in the Bible tells us about Adam and Eve trying to hide from God. That's what in the long run we really can't do. And so, reading Lewis's Narnia books is in part an exercise in getting used to that stripping, that getting into the climate of reality, knowing the truth so that we really become free.